Hi everyone and welcome to Power Plates. I'm Harry and today I'm going to be giving you my top five tips for getting all those three stars on bets. Sure. This is another brand new hustle from the DLC Speedy Recovery. And if you enjoy this sort of content, if these tips help you out, make sure you subscribe to the channel, keep liking the videos and comment down below. Let me hear what your favorite thing is about this hustle and maybe add some tips of your own. Let's, let's try and get as many tips as possible in these videos. So I'm just gonna show you my layout to begin with. Um, so you can see I had three GP officers by the time I got to the third star, but you could probably get away with two. I had two DNA labs, had them pretty much from star one all the way through. One ward, two psychiatries. I actually had two pharmacies, but uh, one should be fine. And then you can see I've kind of got my treatment area over here. Um, all your standard rooms, so you're going to need the waxworks uh, or... or to cure hive mind uh, you're gonna need the under the weather um, right here so cloud computing uh, you're gonna need a pharmacy fracture ward injection room you're going to need where is it is there a cryptology for your premature mummification pans lab psychiatry surgery animal magnetism what else shot clinic surgery yeah there's your pest control and a resolution lab you're gonna need all those rooms but you do not need them off the bat. And then here's the, here's the garage. So I really favor the feather balloons. One, they look awesome, but they hold eight people. And by the time you level them all the way up to level three, they're pretty rapid as well. Um, however, for land vehicles, you know I favor the Pantomobile. And you've got to make sure you have at least one of those and a couple of columns. And then, you know, just some Relicopters, just just to get you through some of the earlier stars. So with that, let's get into my top five tips. Top number one, multiple diagnosis rooms right at the very start. So you're gonna need to get a ward in straight away. You're gonna need to get a DNA lab in and you're actually gonna need a second DNA lab fairly early. So focus on the ward and the DNA lab. Uh, you do need a GP's office because you do get people coming in off the street here so this time you do need a, G, uh, a GP office where you didn't really need to use one as much in Ailing. So focus on those three rooms and then save a bit of cash for your next treatment room which leads nicely on to tip number two. So for treatment rooms you're going to need a pharmacy, a fracture ward and an injection room pretty early on. Uh, the, the pharmacy was my first room quickly followed by uh, the fracture wards. You do need to make sure you've got them in, but you are going to need some others as well. Um, you're definitely going to need this lovely little new room. Oh, both of them. Oh, look at the little beehive people. So you're going to need the waxwork and you're going to need the cloud computing. Stop. Go on. Ha bam There we go. You definitely, you're going to need these two rooms fairly early on. Uh, it's going to be useful. And plus, they're absolutely awesome. You need... Uh, the wax works for your first star requirements. Anyway, you need to cure eight patients in that, so you need to get that done. Tip number three. So you, for first star requirements, you need to train three people in flying, complete a research to get the Relicopter and build three Relicopters. But don't just rush and go get that done. You still need to build a good foundation, a good base for your hospital. It took me a bit of time before I branched out into the flying, um, but you can pick up emergency patients in the meantime, but you know, just, just don't go all ham on it. I know it's really exciting. I know we want these cool, um, these cool rooms, uh, these cool vehicles, but you know, just, just take your time on it. You will be okay. Let's just sort this out. Um, yeah, you'll be okay if you take your time and then you'll be able to get out there. So, as always, solid foundation, get the right rooms in place, and then venture out onto these new mechanics and absolutely smash it like I know you will. Tip number four. So, on the third star, you need to be number one on collecting emergency patients, and you need to be number one on emergency reputation. 
Um, now mine should or is tanking a bit at the moment, but that's because I'm not collecting any. As you can see, while I'm recording this video, I'm not really on that menu. Uh, but what you need to do is you need to constantly make sure you've got a flow of patients coming. Because a ministry reputation only counts once the last patient has left your hospital in that emergency. So look, for example, there we go. If I pick up, if I picked up, let me find any of them. Let's say, if I picked up these patients, let's say, get the Pantomobile in there. Now, my reputation would not change until all these patients that have been picked up have left my hospital, either cured, not cured, or dead. It would not happen. Also, rep my reputation is going to take a hit because I'm not responding to this emergency fast enough. I personally picked the Pantomobile because I wanted to take some time, but because look at all these deaths that are racking up, that's going to hit my reputation. So what you want to do is you want to keep a lookout for this, so for brand new ones, there we go. Keep a lookout. Let's get a feather balloon out there. Let's get a, a helicopter out there. Let's respond to this really early, and let's make sure there are or trying to minimise as many deaths as possible before I get there. You also want to keep an eye on your calendar because what you want is you want to make sure that you're doing a constant flow of patients. So here I'm going to put out another uh, feather balloon and helicopter. And hopefully these patients won't get picked up until, or they won't come in until the new month arrives, or at least a big chunk of them. That way, um, I'm going to have another load of patients for the next month. And if you just keep on doing that, you're then going to get a constant flow of patients coming in, which is going to make you number one in your, so you can see that this is just, <laughs> they went a bit quick, but you're then going to be number one in patients collected, but then also you're going to be number one in your emergency reputation. Now you know it takes a bit of time for patients to all get cured once they've been in, so you probably need to be collecting patients for a good, you know, six to nine months before you start seeing the real effects on your emergency um, reputation. So as you can see here, I am number one for um, patients collected, but I'm zero for emergency reputation because I hadn't, I hadn't collected anyone for a while. And I mean, you can see it's perfect example here. You can see January, February, all the way up to July, zero patients collected. But my reputation was still really high. I took a bit of a dip here, but still really high. And that's because the patients that I collected all the way here are now leaving the hospital after being fully cured. And everything um it's all happy there so you just want to continually make sure you're checking these every so often and making sure you're responding to them really quickly so look out for that notification up here respond to them quickly and uh, just just keep a bit of faith that you need that there is a bit of, of a delay for your emergency reputation to to increase and then finally, tip number five, go heavy on the, um, let's just put this up, go heavy on the feather balloons. If you go heavy on the feather, feather balloons, you are not going to have a problem. These are really quick, especially once you've upgraded them to level three, and they can hold eight patients at a time. Much better than the helicopter, which at level six, uh, at level three, the full upgrade can only hold six, and the elevator, which can only hold one. Now the elevator is really, really quick. Let me get one just to show you. Really quick, looks awesome, but um can only hold one patient at a time and this really really hampers it for me um just makes it not quite good enough to to make it in this in this hospital so if i well, i mean I, I can show you if i go to pick this up look at that everlay it's going to take 15 seconds whereas my feather balloon is going to take 35 so the feather balloon is just over double but the feather balloon is picking up eight patients versus the one and yeah, it's just not good enough to be honest. But if you double down on feather balloons, get some helicopters in, 
maybe a, um, a Pantomobile, you will be, com well, definitely a Pantomobile because you've got some land uh, vehicles only emergencies. But yeah, if you get all that, get those feather balloons, a couple of helicopters, Pantomobile, you'll have absolutely no problem. Because that third star, those two last requirements, number one on Patrons Collective, number one on Eventually Reputation is is pretty hard. So you can see my Eventually Reputation starting to go up um, now that some of these patients are, are coming through the hospital and being cured. So thank you very much for watching. If you found this useful, do make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got tips, I've got walkthroughs for every single Speedy Recovery DLC, explanations on the new ambulance mechanic, what are the best ambulance to use. There's a fire up there, ignore it, don't look at it. Um, but yeah, do make sure you subscribe to the channel, keep liking the videos and comment down below what are your top tips for better sure. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next episode. Bye for now.